So hello, good Monday. This is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and I thought that we will start the week with five productivity tips for Power Query. So all of that in just a second. Hello and welcome back. I am going to show you five ways you can work faster in Power Query. So let's start right away. Tip number one. Do you know that you can copy paste queries in Power Query? So if you have a Power Query file that you want to reuse somewhere else, you can actually copy paste the queries that you want from one file to another. Just copy and paste and that's all you need. It's really, really useful. Nice trick. Did you know that? Tip number two. Do you know that you can now delete steps to the end? So this is something that happens very, very often to me. You know, you store cleaning a file and then you are like 40 steps away and then you realize like, oh no, this is not the way I want to do it. I want to do it somewhere, in some other way. And then you had two choices. You could either delete each step or you could go to the advanced editor and delete them there. But then you have to modify the code and it's not like user friendly for everybody. So there is another way. If you go to the step that you want to delete from and then just right click, there is a function called delete steps to the end. So if you do that, it will delete all the steps and it, the query will not break. So that is really, really useful. Tip number three. Remove other columns. This is very, very useful trick. And I talked about this before, but I really want to talk about it again. Remove other columns means that you tell Power Query which columns you want to keep instead of which columns to remove. So often you go to the column and then you just delete it. So you're telling Power Query, I don't want this column. But if you have a source where columns tend to show up, which happens often, then there is a pain, right? So if you tell Power Query instead that I want to keep these columns and that function is called remove other columns. So you select the columns that you want, right click, remove other columns and they will remove everything else. So if new columns come in your source, they will be deleted automatically. I think it would have been better if they call it keep selected columns instead of remove other columns, but hey, semantics, who cares? Use that. Very, very useful. Use it as much as you can. It will save you a lot of time on headaches. So tip number four. And this is quite a nice trick, especially when you are showing Power BI files. So if you want to hide the ribbon, oftentimes you, you, know, you have to go and right click and sort of show in ribbon or I don't remember exactly what it says, but it is like not very user friendly. Well, to show and hide the ribbon, the only thing you need to do is to double click it. So double click to hide, double click to show. Very, very, very useful. Also, if you want to see how your report would look, so you can just remove, you know, double click and then double click it back and then you will see how the report would look in full screen. So that is a super, super useful trick. And last but not least, tip number five, you, when you want to rename columns in Power Query, you have a few ways to do it. You can either go to the column and then go to the column header and double click, which you know how double clicking works sometimes, or you can just go in there and right click and click rename. But both of them are not the fastest. If you just pick the column that you want, and click F2, then you will be able to rename the column right away. It's much, much easier way to do it. So those are my five productivity tips about Power Query. Did I manage to surprise you with any of them? I really hope so. Do you have any productivity tips that you want to share with others? Let me know and everybody else in the comment box, okay? So with that said, I'll see you again on Wednesday. Take care. Bye.